Hey guys, what's going on? Spipperx here, back from another LEGO Ninjago video, and in this video, I'm going to be comparing the old LEGO Ninjago sets to the new remakes for 2019 of Ninjago. For almost every single set that we're getting in this upcoming wave, there is a direct correlation to a previous older set that we've also gotten, and it's really cool to see the similarities and differences and what the LEGO designers have changed as they have revised and remade these classic Ninjago models. There are some sets that look very similar to the original ones, while others have some very distinct differences between them. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's first talk about the Samurai Mech set. This is going to be a $15 price point and all the sets you guys will see for this Ninjago Legacy line are all going to be releasing in January of 2019 or at least in the United States they will be. This is set number 70665 and this set actually comes with two Skullkin. We have Cruncha and Knuckle as well as the Samurai Mech itself and Samurai X. Now it's quite obvious that the Samurai Mech has been shrunk for this set as it is supposed to be resembling the original Samurai Mech, which was around a $40 set back in 2012. This set had come with two Serpentine villains, as well as a very highly detailed mech, nowhere near what it is for this year for 2019. Now, although it may seem that LEGO is really doing this mech a disservice here, kind of downgrading it in some aspects, it really isn't, and in fact, whenever you guys see the rest of the sets in this video and how they compare, there's a lot of them that have been upgraded. This one is a little bit downgraded, I guess you could say, but I personally like the look of this smaller Samurai X mech. They are able to fit basically all the characteristics of it in a smaller set. I feel like if you look closely at these two images here, the old one being over on the left, of course, you can see a lot of the same features that are resembled just on a smaller scale in this $15 set, such as the shoulder pads up on the top, the little flaps by the waist as well as the part in the very middle there for the torso of the build. I think the only thing that it's missing is the little cockpit piece that comes up over the Samurai X minifigure in the 2012 version, but other than that, everything's pretty much there and other than a different minifigure selection, I'd say it's still a very good set. And for $15 only, it is a great price and a very affordable price for many people to get this iconic set. Now one thing I do want to point out that a lot of people are actually overlooking is this Samurai X Cave Chaos set from Day of the Departed and how closely these two mechs resemble. The mech that we got in this set was kind of a mini Samurai X mech as well and if you compare the two here they're very similar once again. Now obviously the inspiration was definitely from the original one from 2012 because these legacy sets are remaking sets from season 1 and season 2 around that time of Ninjago those very early years but I still did want to include this in this video just to show you guys that we have actually gotten a smaller version of the Samurai X mech before. Now let's move on to Jay's Stormfighter. This was one of my personal favorite sets back from 2012 in the Serpentine season. Now the one we're getting for Ninjago Legacy here comes with a Pythor minifigure, which is going to be a huge draw to the set, as well as an upgraded Jay Stormfighter compared to the one in 2012. If you guys remember the 2012 version, it was much smaller, a lot less detailed, and it's actually kind of interesting whenever I was looking back at these set images, I didn't realize how bland this set looked as opposed to the brand new one for 2019. But as far as the two compare, they're not that different, and in fact the box art for them are very similar as well. We don't get one of the Fangpire staffs in the brand new one, but we do get a new build for the Nunchucks of Lightning. Most of the upgrades for Jay's Stormfighter happens in the back of the plane with some different pieces and some more details. However, in the front they use an interesting technique of basically building the cockpit upside down. You guys can see that there as opposed to the original one in 2012 was all basically up. Right. Nonetheless, I think the LEGO designers did a great job here upgrading and refreshing this build and yet keeping it very classic and a lot of nostalgia behind it as well. Now let's move on to Kai's Blade Cycle and Zane's Snowmobile in which we have two different vehicles here in which we can compare to the original models. Now back in 2012 we had Kai's Blade Cycle as a $15 set, came with the Ratla minifigure. This was a really good price and a really good deal at the time. 
if we compare the two side by side, I have to admit that I do like the original version a bit more. It just looks more finished. There's a lot more details and pieces on it. I like the raised front of it instead of it just looking like a regular motorbike build that we get a lot these days for Ninjago. I don't know, it reminds me a lot of that set we got for Sons of Garmadon with Mr. E in it. But of course, I mean, that's my opinion. Your guys' may be different. And as I'm going through these, be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts on these sets, which ones you guys prefer. You guys prefer the older ones or the newer ones for each of these models. Now, that's only half of what's represented in this new Legacy set. We also have Zane's Snowmobile, in which back in 2012, we had it coming in the Fang Pyre Truck Ambush set, which was a $50 set at the time, and came with Fang Dam and Fang Tom, which were some of the fan favorites at the time because, well, I mean, they have two heads. Comparing the two here, you guys can see the differences. They got rid of those trans light blue pieces that go on the very front and back of Zane's snowmobile, which to be honest was one of my favorite parts of the original model. I don't know, this one's I guess not that bad. I do kind of prefer the original one just a little bit more. I mean, I do like the upgraded wheel on the back there and just the overall look of it in the very front there with it looking more like a snowmobile. It's a lot more accurate to what you'd think it should look like. But as far as, let's just say, what it looks like in the TV show, I think the original model still wins. Now here's one of the fan favorite sets at this moment. This is Cole's Earth Driller, set number 70669 for the Ninjago Legacy Wave. And not only do we get this really cool build of the giant stone warrior in this set, but we also get an upgraded, well, Cole's Earth Driller set. The original one was only a $20 set back from the final battle season of Ninjago. It reminded me of Power Miners all the time, every single time I would take it out whenever I was building it. But I guess the main complaint of it at the time of when this set was released was that it was way too small compared to the TV show. In the TV show, you could fit all the ninja in Cole's Earth Driller, but in the set, you could basically fit one, I mean, I guess you could fit in two if you really crammed them in there. But now for the remake of Cole's Earth Driller, it's much larger, it's got some more details, it's got a larger cockpit with even some printing on the sides. It's got a lot more space in there, which means you can fit more ninja, and in the set, you do get two ninja, so at least it can fit two, but I believe if you cram them in there, you could maybe get three. Now as far as the other aspects of the build, it's very similar, it uses the same wheels in the front and the back, uses the same mechanism for the drill in the front, and I'm perfectly fine with that, I think that's what really defines this set, and I like that. And I really do think that this set has a great upgrade for this season of Ninjago for Legacy. Now here's another very interesting set. This is the Golden Dragon, and this one's gonna be hard to compare since it is a $20 set compared to the original one in 2013 being a $30 set. And you guys may have heard me say some stuff about this set before, but this was a fan favorite literally everywhere, or at least in my area, you could not find this set in shelves. I live in a busy city, so maybe that's just why there's a lot of people, a lot of kids wanting to buy this set, but this set literally was nowhere to be found, and I guess that's why it goes for so much on the secondary market if you have it sealed today. But really that's beside the point, what really we want to be talking about is the builds. And since the price range in between is a bit different, and the newer one is a smaller build, well, there's that to consider. However, whenever you really look at it, you do get a brand new Golden Ninja minifigure. If you guys have not already checked out my review on that, there's a card on screen right now. And as far as the build of this new Golden Dragon, I mean, it's good for a $20 set. If you're only looking at this set for 2019, I think it's a very good set. But once you start to compare it to this older set here from 2013 that was $10 more, it definitely gets beat out, and I have to admit that the older set is just overall better. I have to say that. The minifigure selection on the newer one is better, but the build of the Golden Dragon definitely is better on the older one. Now, with me saying this, don't take it in the wrong way that I don't like this new Golden Dragon. I really do. I like this set, but you just can't compare it to the old, original Golden Dragon. Moving on here, this is the smallest set of this wave, excluding the spinners, and I'm not going to include those in this video just because I think that's overkill. You guys can definitely see the differences between those. But this monastery training set here 
is pretty interesting and I wanted to include this one before the very large sets of this wave just because I think it's interesting to see where these similarities are coming from because it's not necessarily the old sets of Ninjago. These are the two that stand out to me that are similar to it. We have like the original training set which was a $5 set back in the day, set number 2516 with one Cole minifigure. But then we have the Spinjitzu training from the Lego Ninjago movie. Now just like Monastery training, Spinjitzu training here is also a $10 price point. And look at the builds, they look very very similar. And so it's very interesting to see that, you know, the set back from 2011 isn't nearly as similar as the one back, you know, from the Lego Ninjago movie, which really was only like a year and a half ago, I believe. Both of these sets include three mini training objects that are kind of like standalone as well as that interesting build of a like a semi monastery sort of training outpost look. I don't know I just found this kind of interesting whenever I realized that these two sets are practically identical so I wanted to include that real quickly. Now here we go, we're going to move into some of the most highly anticipated Ninjago Legacy sets such as here the Ultra Dragon which was an absolutely phenomenal set back in 2012. It came with the Epic Dragon Battle set, which was $120 at the time, but oh my goodness, this was definitely worth it for your money. This was my favorite set out of the entire year of 2012 Ninjago sets, and that's saying a lot because Ninjago had two different waves of Serpentine sets within 2012. Between these two Ultra Dragons, there are a bunch of differences between them. And yet, I think that the final model here on this new version isn't even that bad. I don't know, it's a definitely different, it took a little bit of getting used to, but over the days as I've been looking at this image, I've warmed up to it. I think that the brick built dragon heads and the wings on it aren't necessarily that bad. In fact, the dragon heads are kind of cool in my opinion, they add some character to it. I'm not so sure about the wings, I've never really liked those felt wings or little you know, the thin plastic that they use sometimes. I've never been a fan of that. I really do like the brick built wings on that. But as far as the heads, I think that's okay. I do prefer the rubber ones, but I guess maybe I'm just an old timey Lego Ninjago fan at this point. I feel like this set definitely got its fair share of criticism thrown at it whenever it was revealed, but it also had a lot of love behind it, and I do think that a lot of people are going to warm up to this set. This is one of my favorite sets of this wave, and for the price point, for like $85 I believe, it's a great buy. And lastly, we have the Monastery of Spinjitzu. This is a beautiful set, comes with all the ninja, and there really isn't an equivalent of this set. We've never really gotten a Monastery set. The closest we got was the Spinjitzu Dojo set, in which we got one of the ninja, we got Sensei Wu, and only one Skullkin. This set was like $50 at the time, I never even bought it, because I thought like $50, you only get three minifigures, and then just this sort of dojo looking build. I don't know, I wasn't really that big of a fan of it, but if you compare it to the Monastery of Spinjitzu, obviously there's basically no competition here, Monastery of Spinjitzu just blows it out of the water. And sure, it's definitely not a fair comparison, but it's the closest to what we've ever really gotten. I'm excited that LEGO didn't just focus on remaking some of the old vehicles like Jay Stormfighter and Cole's Earth Driller, but also featured some brand new stuff that we really haven't gotten much close to before, because I know some older LEGO fans of Ninjago, you know, they're not so inclined to and very excited about buying these remakes, but seeing something like this that really hits home with a lot of nostalgia behind it to the good old days of Ninjago, the very beginnings, I think is going to be a massive success. And those are all of the brand new 2019 Ninjago Legacy sets compared to the older Ninjago sets that they were inspired by. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to let me know with a like rating down below and be sure to comment if you guys prefer the old original versions or if you guys prefer the brand new versions of these sets below. Maybe you guys have a mix in which you like some of the models in the old state, some of them in the new ones. Be sure to let me know what those are as well down below. That is pretty much it though for this video. Have a great day. I'm Spiffricks. I'll see you guys in the next video coming very soon.